Uh, yes, I understand. There's a systemic problem and so on. It comes down to you. You are my representative, you members of parliament. I know that there are a number of things that goes on, especially on the last day of sitting, where because you sit for so long into the night, that's when some of these questionable and dubious deals happen on the floor because you are tired, you don't even have time to read through some of the documents in the bill, and then you, you, approve, you approve all sorts of things. You, are, you approve all sorts of things on the last day. This LI-2462, that allowed companies to get into forest reserves to go and mine, and you call it protection of forest, forest that's, that's the name you give to the law. The irony of it, say, say, say the, name again. the protection of forest, mm -hmm. LI-2462. And you approved it. Parliament approved it. Now, there's reasoning to have it revoked. So what was your consideration in approving that LI-2462? Uh, Ogansi, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for this question. But give me opportunity to also deal with the organized labor matter. Yes, you. Oh, you. Do I, it. I think I think the conduct of organized labor, and with all due respect to uh, my venerable senior Austin Gamay, who is an authority in this area, it's a betrayer of the public trust. That's true, hundred percent. And you see, when it is about we politicians, yeah, they say we are corrupt. What organized labor has done to the people of this country? Is worse than corruption. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, okay. I, I'll reframe. Maybe okay. you should put it. Practice. What the leadership? What the leadership of organized labor has done to to the organized youth of this country, who first of all took the matters into their hands, to say that the failure of the security agencies to deal with this matter, and and okay, so listen to how much. Within the past four years, listen to how much the state, two parliaments, has spent on anti galamse fight programs. I see. It's nearly a billion. Nearly a two, billion. Nearly a billion. That is what we are not interrogating. This government, it's not as if this government hasn't fashioned programs to supposedly fight galamse. They have. Uh, we have had... Nearly a billion CDs. Yes. It's, it's actually 933 million Ghana cities. And I'll give you all the figures from all the budgets from 2020. In fact, we have had Operation Vanguard, which was supposed to have been a program to, to combat the menace of Galamse. It failed. They took so much money. Again, they came back and said, oh, Operation, Operation Vanguard failed. So they want Operation Galam stop. If you recall, yeah. mm -hmm. another joint military operation with the police and security agencies, they took an, millions of Ghana cities. They came to parliament. Parliament approved of it. It failed. Mm -hmm. Then they came by and said, oh, all these programs are failing. So now they want a 64-member interministerial committee made up of ministers and, and some some entities, government appointees, mm -hmm. they also took so much money. They cannot account for the money, and yet the efforts to combat Galamse was worsening. Then they came back to do what they call Operation Galamstor Phase 2. So if you check the budgets within the past four years, if you put the figures together, it's nearly a billion. So when when the Venerable Austin government spoke about accountability on the part of the executive, this is one of them. We have spent, hold on, we have sunk so much money. This is what is shocking the conscience of the people. You've asked for money as the, as the, as the government, as the executive government, to deal with this menace we all, have, we all acknowledge exists. You came for the money. You have spent the money. In fact, in some of those operations, you told us publicly that you were brought to, to central Accra, to metropolitan Accra, over 500 excavators, mm -hmm. assembled them, paraded them, and, and took them to an area in Adenta called Aviation Land. Mm -hmm. Today, as we speak, we can't find the excavators. 
you are una unable to account for excavated that has monstrous earth moving equipment. They have all vanished. I hear we only have about 45 that are disabled, so well, they are sitting there. I, I was there. I will show you the video. That they are disabled. They, mm -hmm. they are they are non-functional. So we are, raising, we are raising budgets to go and buy uh, uh, what uh, excavator so for this year. So, so this is the history of the matter, and it's not as if Galamse has not been with us for for decades. In fact, as far back as 1986, Jerry Rollins and his government set up what we call the Minerals Commission, and with Executive Secretary Professor Akila Kwasoya. With, with PNDC law 154, in 1989, mm -hmm. they saw the need to incorporate small-scale mining into mining operations. So they promulgated what is called the PNDC law 218 and brought about regulating small-scale mining operations. Those were the days when we were secondary school, you hear Galam say. That's why they ask you in geography, you, you know, write a, write a short note on, on Galam say, those things. So we have always had Galamse. The issue we, are, we speak of is the inability of this government to deal with the, with the matter. Regulation have always existed. When you talk of uh, PNDC law 154 and, and 218, in 93, when, when, we, when, we, when we, we joined constitutional rule, we, we, we repealed 154 and, and, and created Act 450. To set up the Minerals Commission properly under constitutional rule. It gave them mandate. Now, under the mandate, we followed it up the Minerals and Mining Act in 206 under President Kufo. Mm -hmm. And actually mandated the Minerals Commission under Section 100 to be so powerful. We amended it with uh, 995 in, in, in just 2019 to actually now have a manual for community mining, which is an euphemism for small-scale mining, mm -hmm. to properly regulate it uh, because there, there are a plethora of articles on small-scale mining, how beneficial it is for communities that are located in these areas. So regulation, 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 we have a tons of regulation on the matter. It is the inability of the, the, those who are entrusted with the exercise of executive powers of state to act, even though they've been given so much money. Recently, we've signed on to, you've heard of this uh, um, 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 uh, uh, climate change and all this. With so, mm -hmm. so much money is coming in to combat climate change matters. Galamse is one of them. Environmental degradation is one facet of and combating uh, 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 climate change matters. If you check our budget, within the past five years, we've said so much. Now we do Green Ghana. Do you know Green Ghana? Yeah, do, you know, do you know it's part of the anti-Galamse fight? A that is when, when the degraded environment is reclaimed. We plant trees. It's all part of the effort. And we use our money to do that. Well, yes, and, we spend and we, money. And we receive we, a lot money of money from the budget to do that. We are getting funding lunch. from the international yeah. community we to do that. We receive a lot of that. grants, actually. We have and a well, program called. The logical orientation in this country yes, is sad. We have a program called uh, Alternative Livelihood. We've spent so much money. A leap. So, so the program, the point I am making is that we have to vote out this government. That's the politics. Please. Yes, you may yeah. say so, but I am giving you a basis. But this government is going anyway. I am saying that this government has taken close to a billion oh, to, to fight to fight oh, Galamse. They cannot account what for the money. Is it? The Galamse situation has worsened. Our river bodies, I, I was born in this country. I know how the Ancobra looks like. I know how the Pra, the Densu, all the major tributaries. I know how the major tributaries that feed the water, the, the mighty water lake, I know how they look like. I know how they look like now. So if somebody who has been entrusted with the, with the, exec, with the, with the exercise of executive powers of state has failed, 
We should say so. No, but Nana is not running for governor. All right. No. So he's already. I speak. I speak. I speak. I speak. His presidency on the line. Because. How did he put his presidency on the line? Because. But he has not done that. No, no, no. Why are you speaking? I was quiet. I am here. Nana has failed. We all agree. Nana has failed. Why are you speaking? Why are you speaking? Why are you speaking? What are you doing? Gentlemen. Why are you speaking? I was quiet. Yes. Proceed with your point. Yes. Why are you speaking? I was quiet. Okay, proceed. As far back as 2021, Sicilia no, Dapa. No, no, no. As far back as 2021, no. Sicilia Dapa no, came no, to no, Parliament no, no, no. Yes. with a statement yes. on the increasing Western situation, uh, the, 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 the Western situation of the turbidity of our water bodies, especially what, uh, water bodies where Ghana water was drawing its processing water from. And promise. Do you know how much she was given as a minister to combat that? That money too is gone down the drain. I I I, I agree with him. You, you, you understand? But, but let him so conclude, conclude. so I am saying, if you look at the history of this matter, there's a failure on the part of the present leadership In the to past deal leadership. with uh, with the issue. Now, let's, because uh, Galamse has always been with us. Okay. Now, now I want to you to the failure of parliament. No. So yeah. now let's deal with the uh, the the, <laughs> the LI matter. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> a government wakes up. And decides that as part of the solution to, to combating small scale mining or, or uh, uh, um, unlawful small scale mining is to actually open up our forest reserves to mining operations. Yes. Then they brought the instrument. Mm -hmm. And we argued, as a member of the subsidiary legislation, we argued that this instrument cannot pass. But it has it's, passed. Yes, it has passed. But I cannot be blamed because Why? I made my point. It you need a, because the, the decision hold is on. A, it's a collective hold, hold on. Let me tell you. Under the under the constitution in Article eleven clause seven D, uh -huh. when a minister is empowered to come by regulation to operationalize operationalize the law, all that he has to do is to lay the instrument in parliament and gazette it. After 21 city days, it passes. Unless we're able to meet the threshold of two thirds to annul it. In annulment, and I disagree with the Supreme Court when they held in two cases, actually. New Premier versus the Electoral Commission, as well as Stephen Okai and others versus the Electoral Commission and another. When they interpreted the regulation as 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 a, a, a legislation that parliament cannot think of or amend. amend. Mm -hmm. You can only reject. Because at that time, it is not a regulation. It's a draft instrument. Yes. So parliament ought to have the power as part of its legislative functions. Yeah. But they interpreted the law. So as we speak, that is the law. But the same constitution no. in Article 297, I think so, 297D, if the constitution is here, if you can. 297D says that the source of those orders, regulations, and, 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 uh, and instru instruments should have the power to annul or repeal or cancel. So the call on parliament to have anything to do with the repeal of this law is neither here nor there. The law is already settled. If the ministry is, is minded because of the public outcry regarding that, that legislation, it is just a matter of annulling it mm -hmm. and come to parliament by notice that the LI 62, uh, 2460, uh, 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 2462, uh -huh. 2019 has been, has been repealed. You, well, you, you see, reason why when you're saying that you cannot be blamed as an individual because you made your point <laughs> clear. <laughs> this this came before you at the subsidiary legislative committee, yes. even before I went to the plenary. Interestingly, I am also you are also a committee. member of the subsidiary. Uh, he Both was of a you, the two so, of you. So, yeah. so really, so I'm only I'm, I'm asking you. Let me that, okay. Wait, let wait. me let me let me offer this, some this education. Was, 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 no, no. Was let me by offer. Parliament. Let me offer some education. Yes. The education uh, is would, this: mm -hmm. Article two nine six, two nine six um, uh, C. Okay. Is to this effect. Where, okay, 296. Where in this constitution or in any other law, discretionary power is vested in any person or authority? Mm. No, I speak of 297. 
297. Yeah, 297. In this constitution and any other law, where a power is conferred to make any constitutional or statutory instrument, mm -hmm. regulation, or rule, or pass any resolution to give any direction, the power shall be construed as including the power exercisable in the same manner to amend or to revoke the constitutional or statutory instrument, regulation, rules, or resolution, or direction, as the case may be. So the constitution says that if by a statutory provision in an, an enactment, a minister is enjoined to come to parliament by regulation within a certain time frame, because these days we place a time frame that within, okay. within um, um, uh, one year, mm -hmm. you must come by a, result, a re regulation to operationalize an act. Yeah. When we right. give you such powers, and you bring an instrument and lay it in parliament, and after 21 parliamentary sitting days, it passes, it becomes effective with Gazette notification. The Constitution says in Article 297D, Clause D, that the Same power way. given to you to, to, to make that re re regulation Mm -hmm. It's also implied, it's inherent in the same power that you can also revoke it. I see. So you don't. It. You also use the word. Amendment. Yes, yes, oh, amen. Okay. Yeah, this one, everybody says it should be revoked. Everybody says that law. Cancel. The law says that. We so, have power to okay. so, parliament cannot be. <coughs> nobody should call on parliament that yeah, we should. Amen. We should no, come. But, but, we, I, I, what I, is the procedure even by yes, doing that? Well, Unless you want to come by another ally or an, an, an enactment, a bill. To amend an existing ally, so it's oh, a convoluted process. I'm sorry, but my question, my question is not about the revocation. I yeah. asked the specific yeah, question so, about so the education, what was. Wait, so the education get, get, is this. Uh -huh. The education is this. Where an ally or constitutional instrument is to be enacted, Parliament's role is a conveyor belt. Meaning it should you, not be. You, 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 hold on. But Parliament's it, rule by the constitution. It, no, no, hold on. <laughs> Alfred. Yes. It's, it's education, so it's important we listen. It's conveyor belt. Parliament is supposed to play mm. no rule. You, you the, only rule the only rule yes. Parliament is giving. So hold on. Rule. The only rule Parliament is giving is to buy a two test majority and null it. Yes. But you see, you, what you are annulling is not even a law. It's not a law. You are rejecting. No, the so consumer you uses a no, Parliament cannot no. reject you just there. And you, you we just, are unable just, to you. command the two thirds majority when you disagree. And this this particular ally, when it came, go and check the report. I, for instance, I said, why, for instance, at that time, if you if you recall, those were the heady days about the the Achimota forest issues. Yes. Mm -hmm. Those were the heady days. So I said, ah, we already have issues with Achimota Forest, for instance. How can we be, be called upon as a house to agree to an instrument like this? So people like me are disagreed. Well, but, but when you cannot command, like you're okay. But when you cannot command okay. 82, 182 members to agree with you, it will pass. Okay, let's not let, let, let continue. Let me speak for the regular Daniel. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You see, let's, 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 let's